My name is Melissa Gomez, and I'm a reporter at the Los Angeles Times. And recently, I traveled to Hakumba Hot Springs to report on open-air desert camps that have popped up as more migrants have come across the border. Hakumba is a small border community, you know, population of roughly about 600 people, uh, according to the latest census. And it's in eastern San Diego County. Um, it's sort of mountainous, very rocky terrain. And where these camps have been set up is essentially uh, along the border. Migrants are arriving at every hour throughout the day. You know, hundreds of them pass through these sites. According to volunteers and immigration advocacy groups, they can average about 500 folks at these camps in a single day. Many of the migrants who I spoke to are coming from Colombia, Peru, China, Honduras, and uh, many of them are fleeing violence from their home countries. They say that they arrived to the U.S. to seek asylum. I had uh, one man from China, a migrant, who uh, used a translator app to tell me that he came to the U.S. to seek freedom and democracy. A lot of them don't really know what happens next when they cross the border. They've just been told, get across the border and, um, you know, surrender to Border Patrol. And so that's often what you see. When they arrive at these camps, Border Patrol agents uh, give them these wristbands, uh, say what day that they arrived. And that, I think, helps when it comes to transferring them to detention facilities. I spoke to a senior official at the U.S. Customs and Border Protection who mentioned that currently, you know, they're not set up to handle the surge in migrants who are arriving in southeastern San Diego County, which is where Hakumba is. Um, they said that they sort of face the challenge of uh, personnel in that area. So a lot of these migrants are kind of left there waiting, you know, often they say two, three, four days. I think what stood out to me were sort of the conditions that they're sort of left to fend for themselves in. I was out there for 10, 20 minutes and I was shivering. And some of these migrants had been out there for a few days at that point. Border Patrol has said that they provide water when they can. And, um, you know, they are also there to provide medical care if, you know, migrants are in need. But Border Patrol acknowledged that, um, you know, they're providing the bare minimum. At these camps, it's really been left to volunteers and locals who are stepping up and immigration advocacy groups that are providing water, food twice a day, blankets, um, tents. I spoke to uh, someone who helped out on Thanksgiving Day and they were just completely overwhelmed by the number of migrants who ended up staying overnight at these camps. And they said, you know, 50 folks went without food on Thanksgiving Day. A lot of the volunteers that I spoke to and the immigration advocacy groups are sort of wondering if, you know, local, state or federal government is going to step in. They say that they're not built to feed hundreds of people a day. A lot of volunteers are worried about the condition that these migrants are sort of left in in these open air camps, um, you know, with not enough shelter, with not enough tents. Uh, they really worry about the health and, and safety of these migrants. You can read more of the story at latimes.com and to check out more top stories, subscribe to the Essential California newsletter.